Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're interviewing Nick Camito, the Head of Sustainability at Bingo. Nick, it's so great to have you on the show today to tell us all about how Bingo practices sustainability. So can you share with us a little bit about your environmental journey so far? Hi, Ali, and thanks very much for having me today. So I'll start with a little bit about Bingo. Bingo started as a family business 20 years ago and was listed on the ASX in 2017. And since then, Bingo has grown, grown through acquisition of businesses and just through organic growth. And, um, and I guess initially we have framed our sustainability in a fairly classic ESG framework to communicate to our customers and to our investor base. And this has been a really clear way for us to be able to communicate sustainability to those different stakeholders. Now, beyond our communication, our business model is inextricably linked to sustainability. So uh, our business model is actually taking materials, recovering and recycling as much of those materials as we possibly can, and then allowing us to drive that circular business outcome. And, and, and whilst we continue to really try to maximise how much um, that we can recover and recycle, we still have some work to do. So there's always room for improvement, which we're very excited about. Um, and also, I think within the organisation, we're at a pretty exciting juncture in our journey as we evolve into a new framework and the way that we think about sustainability. Well, what stuck out to me the most and what I love about Bingo is that you guys deliver more than just those financial returns. You really are committed to building a better future as well. So what actually drives this focus and why is sustainability so important at Bingo? Yeah, look, I think that, um, first of all, I'll just address the financial part because I think it's a really important call out. Now, financial drivers are really um, important for a business and businesses have always been focused on financial returns only. And whilst this is a core driver for every business, we've seen a shift from financial only to more purpose-driven outcomes. And this is a really important, I think, shift that we've started to see. And it's something that is really exciting, I think, that we can actually start to really push some of those business purposes that align with sustainability. Now, from the financial point of view, I think it's really important, depending on your journey within your organisation, to be able to use the financial um, to, to be able to drive to your sustainability outcomes. So where you can get programs up and running, where you're able to demonstrate financial returns, then it's absolutely essential because you'll get really good in, um, buy-in from all of your stakeholders within your organisation and you'll get more power behind you as, as people within the organisation start to push behind you. So I think that that's, that's the first thing, and we'll put that aside for now. But when we truly align to our visions and our purpose, I think we see a much more interesting uplift across a business. So our vision at Bingo is pushing for a waste-free Australia. So it's an area that we obviously, it's very inextricably linked to what we do. It's very central to what we're doing. And, and it, it, it's something that we are really sort of driven and everyone from the CEO down to the people that are operating the business is very focused on. So when we take a look at some of these, uh, I guess some of these outcomes that we're looking at, when you're taking a look at the financially linked ones, we've got things like behind them either solar or efficiency measures that can deliver on the financials. But then there's also elements that drive real value out in society and the community, but also for our business. And some of those are things like social procurement. So this is where we're able to direct our spending back into the community or back into organisations and enterprises that really focus on very important areas. They may be able to employ people with disabilities, it may be an Indigenous owned business, um, or, or people that are um, the people that are sort of in an in underprivileged situation. So we're really focusing on being able to spend um, and, and work with people that actually have these social outcomes. And that's something that we're very interested and very driven by, I would say. But also, I think that what is really interesting is that we give people from diverse backgrounds um, a real go. So 40% of our staff, um, English is their second language, and we have a 3.5% uh, people that identify as Indigenous within our organisation. So these are, uh, I think this diversity of our organisation really sort of is something that really interests us and it's something that we're continually pushing. That's incredible. And it's so cool that Bingo lives and breathes sustainability in everything that you do, not just environmental, but in diversity and inclusion. It's fantastic. And one thing that I found really interesting when researching for this interview is that Bingo has educated thousands of students about recycling best practices, which is very much in line with that tagline that you mentioned earlier, pushing for a waste-free Australia. So can you tell us a little bit more about this and where does the tagline actually come from? Yeah, look, so um, pushing for a waste-free Australia is literally 
what we do as an organization and we really feel like going beyond our own organizational borders, we need to be able to push more broadly across the industry, across society to be able to achieve that. Because whilst we might have a circular model for our business, we can't achieve that circular economy without everyone being involved. And that includes people across all strata of, of, of society effectively. Um, and, and when you tie it back to, the, to, to what you're talking about, the education, this is an area that we're very passionate about. And Bingo understood very early on the importance of engaging and educating across a range of stakeholders and demographics. Now, one of those important demographics is obviously students, and they're the next generation that are going to solidify that change that we're talking about and activating. So as we activate this change and as we start to move this, it's really important that we educate so that we can continue that next generation will be the ones who will carry that forward. Yeah, absolutely. And what an amazing story to be helping thousands of children. That's so cool. It's so clear that Bingo is very invested in building a more positive and sustainable future and working really from the kids upwards. So very impressive. Nick, what's next for Bingo? I mean, can you share any future exciting projects that you have coming up? It feels like you've done so much already. So where are you heading next? Yeah, there's, we have done so much and love to acknowledge that. But there's so much to do, Ali. So that's the interesting part. Um, look, I think that first of all, and just from the, the very practical point of view, I, I discussed that we have a very conventional look at sustainability through the ESG lens. We're currently going through a strategy refresh and, um, and, and we're going to basically evolve how we actually reframe sustainability for the organisation around three core areas. And that's how do we transform our business? How do we transform the industry? And then how do we transform the world? Now, uh, whilst transforming your business seems quite practical and you, we can sort of focus on what we do there and that, that's great. Transforming the industry is more through partnerships and working together in leadership. Transforming the world sounds really lofty and I know that sounds like how's Bingo going to transfer, transform the world? But the way that we see it is that we have to contribute to very important global issues, climate change, circular economy, human and labour rights, all of these issues are so deeply important to all of us. And by, by, by being able to actually contribute in a positive way, then we feel like that's how we're helping to transform the world. Nick, it's been such a pleasure speaking to you today because every single word that you say is so passionate. I can tell that you genuinely care, that the company genuinely cares. So having a customer like Bingo on the show is a true honour. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll have to follow up with you again in a couple of months because I want to hear how you're tracking on this journey. And thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Ali.